Hello everyone. Welcome to my new video on step potential and touch potential. This video covers some of the fundamental hazards of working or simply walking on and around downed energized conductors and the unseen hazard of step and touch potential. With summer storms come the danger of downed wires, broken poles, trees and branches of tree that sometimes make contact with the energized conductor. And this is when the step potential and touch potential comes into picture. This is one example where a tree is falling onto a transmission line. Now to understand step and touch potential, we first need to understand how energy dissipates across conductive objects. During broken pole or down wire conditions, some really good conductors exist that provide path to the ground including metal fences, wet soil and puddles. Other conductors exist that may not be that good conductor, yet still allow current to travel to the ground, such as trees, wood fences and utility poles. Wood is typically thought of as an insulator, but wet wood will conduct electric current. And when an energized conductor falls across the chain link fence or directly to the ground, the object and immediate area become energized creating a zone of high voltage in relation to the ground and the actual voltage depends on the source, resistance of the object and soil conditions which include the material and moisture and the dissipation of the voltage from the grounded conductor or from the ground end of an energized grounded object is called the ground potential gradient and the voltage drops associated with this dissipation of voltage are called the ground potential and the voltage decreases rapidly with increasing distance from the ground end. Now let me come to step potential. Step potential is a condition caused by the difference in voltage when the ground or working surface become energized. And this could be from down power line, fault in underground equipment etc. And the point where the line touches the ground has the highest voltage. As we move away from this source of voltage, the voltage drops depending on the conductivity of the surface. With step potential, your leading leg is at higher voltage than the back leg. And if your legs cross, the electricity will move through the body to complete the circuit from higher voltage to lower voltage and you will experience a shock. So if you encounter a down power line, place your feet together and hop away. Alternatively, you can shuffle your feet one beside the other touching and slide your feet along the ground never letting the heel of the leading foot passes the toe of the other do this until you are approximately 33 feet away now do not rely on electrical hazard rating or labeling of the boots or tools to prevent injury if you are a worker while this may reduce the risk Dirt or water on the surface will reduce or negate the resistance of these items and the electrical injuries are often fatal and if not can have long lasting and devastating health consequences and electrical injuries are the fourth highest cause of work related deaths according to researchers. Now moving to touch potential. Touch potential exists when a part of the body can physically become part of a circuit. This could be as simple as touching a power line or from touching an object that is in contact with the power line. And the key thing to remember about touch potential is that you do not have to see the hazard for it to exit. Guardrails or roadways could have a live wire on them at the point that you cannot see, which would cause the entire length of the guardrail to be energized and chain link fences barbed wire fences and field fences can run for blocks and even for miles avoid touching them you never know green tree parts or woods with living tissues are also good conductors and touching a tree or tree part that is contacting a power line has the potential to injure or even kill you you should never touch a person who is in contact with a live wire Best ways to avoid touch potential is to stay aware of your surroundings. Keep an eye out for potential hazards or lines down. And staying alert will reduce the risk of being injured by energized lines or objects. 
and do not touch down power lines or anything that they are in contact which may include phone or cable lines utility poles metal fences ladders trees and maybe the ground itself now having a power line fall on your car can be one of the scariest things you could ever face while driving if an active power line falls onto your car it can charge the car with electricity meaning that you have to act with extreme caution to avoid getting electrocuted if your car is in on fire just call the emergency number and stay put in your car but be careful not to touch the car's frame because it will have charge now if your car is on fire exit the car by jumping free of the vehicle without making any contact with the metal inside the car and then still holding your legs together shuffle to safety with both of your feet together on the ground until you are around 50 feet from the car now you can call the emergency or anyone for help this is all for this video and if you like this video please do subscribe thank you